Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, we are going to go over Carbon ROM for the Nexus 6 and this is Android version 9.0 or Pi. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is Carbon version V7.0. Uh, I know it's kind of confusing, but that is just their, uh, their way of um, uh, listing you know, their builds. Uh, so this is Pi. Uh, it is for the Nexus 6. Uh, I was going to do this review back when they first came out with it. Uh, they had it out for about a month, maybe a little longer than that. Um, but on my first couple uh, tries, I didn't quite like it. It wasn't quite there yet. I wanted to make sure that when I did this uh, video uh, that if any of you wanted to try it, uh, I could safely tell you guys that um, it's good enough to be a daily driver. And it is good enough to be a daily driver. For those of you that are new to my channel or haven't watched any of my videos before, uh, I've got to warn you my videos go longer than normal uh, or the big YouTube channels like uh, Android Authority and uh, XDA TV. Um, I, and the reason that is is because I go into detail and I show everything. Uh, so if you're looking for a very short description, a, uh, a quick uh, overview, uh, you may want to uh, watch somebody else's uh, reviews. I also don't script, so I may say ah uh, or um a lot. Uh, just some warnings right now. I figured I'd get that out of the way. Um, but we are going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, so the first thing I want to tell you guys is I am running a substratum theme. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up, let you guys see which one it is that I'm running. Uh, it's pitch black. Uh, that is the theme that I'm running. Uh, well, I'm not going to let it completely load, but again, guys, a little bit of warning with um, Substratum. Uh, a lot of the uh, themes that are on the Play Store right now uh, are not set up to run on Pi. Uh, Pi was not supposed to be able uh, to be themed, uh, but <laughs> they did get around that, and it definitely does uh, theme. So give them some time. Give the developers of these uh, other themes, your favorite theme, sometime uh, they will get around to bringing it up to um, specs where it will run on Oreo. I meant Pi, Oreo, listen to me. So quickly what I'm going to do is show you uh, what it looks like themed uh, with Pitch Black. Uh, I did pick the uh, their pink or lavender, whatever they call it. Uh, so the quick settings are themed uh, as well as your standard uh, settings. Uh, it gives it a black UI, totally pitch black, which of course is what the theme is called. Um, it does not change the icons on the side, which I'm glad. Uh, I love the look of the uh, settings in, uh, in Pi. I think they did a really good job with that. Uh, and then if you go deeper, uh, like if we go into fibers, you notice uh, that is themed as well uh, with the colors. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and <clears throat> go back into themes and go ahead and disable this. Uh, for the rest of the video. Alright, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, we're going to go into settings right now. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to about phone or well system and then I'm going to click on about phone but I want to cover up my phone number because I am running my SIM card. Uh, I was testing this again for uh, data uh, connections, uh, you know, phone calls, MMS, SMS, all that. Everything is working. Camera's working. I took uh, several pictures. Uh, I even uh, did video with it and everything seems to be working just fine. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click into uh, About Phone. Okay, we are in About Phone. Uh, as you guys can see, this is for the Nexus 6. Uh, there's your emergency information, stuff like that. Uh, legal information, uh, SIM status, as you guys can see. Uh, my carrier is Verizon, uh, Android version 9. And if you touch on that several times, you're going to come up with uh, the Pi uh, thing. And it changes colors every time you do it. Okay. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I will let you guys know right now uh, that the uh, kernel is permissive on this. In case you may not want to run permissive, uh, you may not want to run this ROM. Also, again, just like all the other ROMs out there in Pi, you cannot be decrypted and run this. You have to, uh, or you cannot be encrypted and run this. You have to decrypt your device or you have to already be decrypted in order to run this. Um, I do have a video out uh, how to 
get rid of encryption on your Nexus 6 and flash uh, Oreo all in one video, or listen to me, and how to flash Pi all in one video. Uh, so I will put a link to that in the video description if you guys are encrypted or, or you want to know how you can find that out. Basically all you do is uh, go down to security and location, uh, scroll down to where you see anything that says encryption, uh, right there, encryption credentials, uh, it says phone not encrypted. So I wasn't encrypted before I flashed this, so I didn't have to do anything special. Uh, if you are encrypted where it says encryption and credentials, um, or on uh, Nougat or Marshmallow or any of the other ones, even Oreo, uh, it'll say um, encrypted underneath there. Uh, so if it says encrypted, you need to decrypt or unencrypt your device before flashing this. It will not boot up. Uh, it may boot back into Twerp several times. Um, you'll get a boot loop. Also, guys, you need to have the latest uh, Team Win Recovery Project uh, uh, loaded on your device. Uh, I think I'm running uh, version 3201, if I'm not mistaken. So you at least need to have that version or higher. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Whoops, I don't want to go to apps and notification. We're going to go ahead and get down to uh, network and internet. Uh, this, of course, is your Wi-Fi, uh, any uh, mobile networks, uh, hotspot, uh, you know, airplane mode, uh, VPN, stuff like that. Uh, connected device is going to be Bluetooth and NFC. If you guys want to run with that, that's where you go for that. Uh, next up is going to be the custom settings. They call it custom or uh, carbon fibers. Um, I'm going to go off onto a little uh, rant about carbon. Uh, not really a rant. Um, I just I really want to say that. Back when I first started uh, doing custom uh, ROMs on my phone, back when I first started rooting and un, you know unlocking my bootloader, stuff like that, Carbon was my favorite ROM of all. That was it. Carbon ROM was the crap. <laughs> um, they were the best of the best. Um, and then it just seemed like when they went on that hiatus uh, there for a while and then they came back, their custom features were just gone. Um, you know, kind of like Dirty Unicorn, how Dirty Unicorn uh, went back to uh, basic Android with just a few custom features. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. A lot of you guys like that. Me, I, I like ROMs more like what Carbon used to be or what uh, like Resurrection Remix is or Nitrogen or, uh, you know, CR Droid, stuff like that. I like a lot of custom features. Um, Again, this is new. Uh, I'm sure that they are going to come up with some more features on here as well as all the other Pi ROMs out there, but I just wanted to get that out uh, and we're going to go ahead and move on. Um, I am very happy to say that Carbon has done a few things, as you can notice in my status bar, that the other Pi ROMs have not yet. Center clock is one. Uh, so if we go into system, uh, you have your smart pixels. You can turn that on or off. I'm going, I had it on for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it's supposed to say battery. I really think it makes your screen look terrible, <laughs> so I, I turned it off just now for the rest of the video. Uh, I do have it on uh, auto enable uh, whenever battery saver kicks in. Uh, you can set it up for whatever percentage you like. Um, I'm going to set it up for 25%. Uh, and then you have your pixel burn in, uh, you know, by shifting pixels around every 10 minutes. That's enabled by default, uh, but you can uh, change it for how often you want it to uh, switch the pixels up. That is actually a good thing because uh, my Nexus 6 is starting to get some slight ghosting uh, down here where I've been running a lot of, uh, <laughs> of uh, you know, custom features and bright colors and stuff like that. So that's starting to ghost in. So it's a good thing that they have that. Uh, status bar is up next. You do have edit icons. This is where you can pick and choose uh, what you actually want to uh, show on the device. Uh, you would go here and just click them on or off. Uh, that will either put them up in your status bar or clean that out. So as you can see, I like a very clean status bar. Uh, so I, I shut a lot of that off. Um, battery style. Uh, the, I can tell you guys right now, I have it clicked on big circle. Nothing works except for uh, portrait battery. So. Right now, I am running the portrait battery, as you guys can see, but I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Big Circle, and as you guys can see, nothing's changed up there, uh, so that really doesn't work. Uh, show percentage, 
Um, I think I can click on do not show and it's, see it's still there. So this isn't working yet, at least for me. It may work for you, I'm not sure. Um, you do have the uh, switch where you can show clock, uh, show seconds if you want. I'm going to click on that and it's actually showing the seconds so that does work. Uh, this works. Uh, you can go to either left, right, and my favorite, finally, center clock. Thank you very much Carbon for the hat. I love it. Um, now your AM PM, that doesn't work. Again, I, try, I have it on normal. Uh, nothing's showing for that. Uh, and also the date, I have that normal and nothing's showing as well for date. Uh, but I am very, very happy that we do have the center clock. Um, I've been waiting a long time for that, and I think that was the one main thing that uh, Pi was missing because I love my center clock. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into lock screen. Uh, you have your lock screen shortcut. You can pick and choose what you want. I, I don't like anything on my lock screen. Uh, you have your quick unlock, uh, scramble pin layout, and disable quick settings. Uh, buttons are up next. Uh, this is going to be your software buttons. You can edit your nav bar. Uh, you can edit the layout if you want. A compact left leaning or right leaning. Uh, you can do that again however you want. Uh, configure the nav bar. Again, sizing it, stuff like that. Uh, then your hardware buttons, screen off, playback, controls uh, with your volume, and then of course a toggle a torch when the screen is off. I have it for hold, it, hold power down. Uh, they don't have it where you can set up a certain amount of time where it automatically shuts off. Uh, I hope they do put that on there because like I said, when I, I like my flashlight on my phone, uh, but sometimes it does inadvertently get uh, turned on as I'm using it and I like it to shut off automatically so I don't run my battery down. Uh, next up is going to be gestures. Uh, you do have carbon gestures. Now this is pretty cool because I actually have it set up uh, three fingers and I use the downstroke for a screenshot. So if I swipe three fingers down, it takes a screenshot. This is something I don't like. Heads up. Uh, there is no button that I can find to, get to shut heads up off. Um, that is a deal breaker for me. I hate heads up with a passion. It's one of the reasons I don't use my Pixel 2 XL for my daily phone. It's because I don't like heads up. I hate it. Uh, so, um, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully they'll put a switch in there like some of the other ROMs have uh, to get rid of that. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, you Let's see. Under gestures, uh, you have the double tap, uh, status bar to sleep. Uh, and then double tap the lock screen to sleep and then jump to camera. Uh, I do have that on. You double t uh, press the power button and it will jump to camera for you. That's it for gestures. Uh, next up is privacy again. Uh, you can hide all apps, from re or all apps from recents and then your carbon ROM statistics. I have mine shut off. If you guys want to run with it on, you're more than welcome to. Uh, they say they don't uh, share anything. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, did I go over the buttons because I think I missed hang on a second I did miss something under system uh, they have the enable uh, advanced restart and then underneath there is your power menu uh, again they have a lot of things on the power menu uh, I do like that uh, and then vibrate on plug uh, and unplug I, I I think it's on by default I didn't turn it on and that is it for the custom settings uh, next up is going to be uh, display, uh, you know, basic stuff in display, pretty much just like everything else. Uh, the standard wallpaper, if I pick on wallpaper and I go to, um, where did I see that at? Haha. <laughs> I'm going to pause it until I find it. Alright, so under wallpapers, if you go down to uh, wallpapers, this is the wallpaper that is set by default. So when you first flash the ROM, this is the one that will uh, be set as your default wallpaper. Um, I put my own on. I went to the uh, Carbon Web or Carbon ROM website, downloaded some of theirs, and I'm actually using uh, theirs from their website. Uh, just because I don't uh, have a scrolling wallpaper, I just don't use that. Um, I use one screen, one screen only. Uh, under sound. Again, uh, I'd like to see a link uh, or a uh, unlink your volume and notification. They don't have that in this ROM. Uh, hopefully that will come in a future build. 
under advanced this is going to be where, where you can turn uh, on or off a lot of the uh, sounds on the device uh, we've already went over uh, security and location uh, accessibility is pretty normal uh, digital well-being uh, this is something new to Pi um, ways to disconnect dashboard uh, wind down schedule manage your notification do not disturb I was hoping I could find heads up in there uh, but I went through this whole thing and I could not find anything uh, on shutting heads up or yeah heads up off so uh, that's your digital and well-being uh, I did go through system advanced um, developer options is not turned on by default you have to go into system about phone I'll scroll down to your build number tap it seven times and this will turn this on uh, you want to make sure that you have your USB debugging turned on uh, there is no um, I, I can't even think uh, I'm gonna go down and go I'm gonna go ahead and go down to drawing uh, they have it set up actually pretty good under drawing uh, they have it set up at uh, 5 5 and 1 I I changed that to 0.5 as well uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0.5 uh, normally I just shut them all off but you know I'm gonna let it there it seems to be running really smooth uh, so I'm just gonna let it where it's at that's it guys uh, this is carbon ROM um, it's running great I have no no complaints about it uh, a couple features I would love to see them put in it uh, again you know all ROMs if they were the same they just be one ROM so that's why you have different ROMs people like different things uh, more customizations less customizations uh, so it is what it is um, right now this feature I love center clock uh, but again I really need to have that heads up where I can shut it off um, but you know it is kind of a deal breaker for me but I imagine for a lot of people they're used to it and they use it so uh, it is what it is I highly recommend this ROM. Again, I wouldn't. I waited to do this video until it was uh, stable enough, at least in my opinion, uh, to use it as a daily driver. And yes, I would say this is definitely daily driver material. Good going, uh, Carbon. Um, again, Carbon used to be my favorite of all ROMs. Uh, I really wish they'd get back to the roots. Um, but you know, again, it is what it is. The the developer the developers do this the way they like the ROM to be. Um, if I was developing a ROM, I'd build it to my taste. So it is, you know, again, it is what it is. Guys, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Make sure that, uh, again, that you give it a thumbs up or like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to uh, see my videos um, whenever I upload them, make sure that you click on that bell for notifications. If you are on a computer, if you're on Android, you don't get that option. Um, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one.